I walk out there and this is what I see. <laughs> Having to pull out a truck. Of course, we don't have any solar yet, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing this test. And we have a big decision to make if we can get through the night without any issues. And hopefully, well, this information will be useful to you guys. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, the Salty Trip Channel. And now that we've got our dual inverter system set up, we are running another test on our batteries. We're gonna run both inverters all day long and we're getting an early start. It's 3.30 right now. At 3.10, I went outside and I shut off the power and we have a big decision to make. So that's why we're running this test and we'll explain more later, but we'll get to it. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, you're probably asking yourselves, what is this guy talking about? And why is he running this test? We've been full-time RV living for about seven, eight months now. We've been living in RV parks, but we've been preparing for some boondocking and off-grid kind of living. So we're building a system for that. Another major reason why we're building this system is because we found out the hard way that a lot of these parks don't have very good power systems. As we shown in a video not too long ago, our plug just died on us for no reason and we had to get it replaced. We lost all power. If it wasn't for our inverter and batteries, the RV would have been dead in the water. And if it was summertime, in the middle of summer, thing would heat up fast, especially because we're here in like, you know, kind of central Florida area and the RV would heat up fast. And we have three little puppies that we care about dearly. So we don't ever want anything to happen with the grid or something that lost the grid power. you like, you can get things that will alert you that you've lost power like we have the waggle uh which will tell us that we've lost power and then we'd have to come back and try to get the things cooled down but this way we don't have to worry about it if grid power goes out our inverter takes over and they're safe and sound so we can only run one ac if you've seen the previous video off the inverter at a time and in the summer you have you need two acs running to keep this thing cool like when it's like 95 degrees outside both acs are kicking on and off all the time we wanted to make sure that was a non-issue so we got a second inverter and we also have other reasons for that too which i'll explain in just a minute so we just installed a second inverter we have two victron multi plus twos 24 volt 3000 va 2x 120 inverters hooked in parallel which if you watched the last video we showed you how we installed the second inverter in parallel with that. So we have other videos installing the other stuff before that too. So we have that all in a playlist down in our channel. So we have to go down there and check it out if you're interested in that stuff. We have three 24 volt, 200 amp hour batteries and 12 volt terms, that's 1200 amp hours. And you know, we decided to go through a 24 volt system because it's, it's half the amperage. You can use smaller wire, less charge controllers. It's easier on the solar. It just makes everything easier with the less amperage. By uh, doubling the volts, you cut the amps in half for the same amount of power and usage you would need from a 12 volt system. And that's another video. But today, what we're doing is we are, we just installed that parallel system. We just wanna run a test. And you're like, well, why did you start it so early this morning? Well, Kim still works full time. She's this close to, being done with work. So she gets up early. She likes to work out, take her time, uh, taking a shower. And so I figured this would be a great time to run a test. As soon as she got up, I, I went outside. It was like 3, 10 in the morning and I shut the, the breakers off. We've been running on just in batteries and inverter power. Of course, we don't have any solar yet. And that's one of the reasons why we're doing this test. How long is this, the, these batteries gonna last us? Can we last, you know, throughout the night? You know, what if we have a cloudy day? How long are the batteries going to last us? We want to know all that information, uh, which will help us, you know, build our solar system that we were thinking about doing. So I figured I would just start early in the morning and try to go all day long. So Kim got out of the shower and it's time to blow dry her hair. So I'm thinking, hmm, this is a great time to, you know, test the limits of these uh, parallel inverters. I decided I'm going to kick on both ACs and see how it does. While she's blowing drying her hair, it was pulling about 1500 watts, uh, which is kind of funny because like our electric furnace only pulls 
probably about 1400 watts. So basically, the electric furnace is a glorified hair dryer that can run full time. Now, I don't think a hair dryer is meant to run that long. It's basically about the same amount of power to run a blow dryer as an electric furnace. Anyway, so we got the hair dryer going and I kick on both ACs and this is what we get. We are pushing about 4,600 watts. The two inverters together combined can run about 2,800 watts con continuously and can get up to a maximum of 6,000 watts. So it'll run all day 4,800 watts, but it, it'll spike like if you have to kick on the uh, microwave on top of that, it would handle it for a little while. And then eventually, uh, depending on how high the load is, it will start to overload and may shut down. Well, I just want to kind of figure out like exactly how much stuff can we run. So we can run two ACs and the TV was running. We got our internet, our computers plugged in, the 120 volt fridge, residential fridge is running without getting close to our limit. So you can basically run three big things and which is kind of good. That's the reason why we built this system is because we don't want to just go camping and rough it. We are building the system so that when we we can travel in comfort like we can just take our home where we want to go it's more about getting to the places doing the things being able to live the same way no matter where we go so that's one of the reasons why we're building this system and we do want to do some off-grid stuff and we'll you know we'll take you guys along for the ride and all that so hopefully you'll subscribe and follow us and as we continue this build and everything we did that little test and then when she was using her hair straightener, the AC was running also, and I think we were pulling about 18, 1900 watts. And it was going up and down with their hair straightener would, would kick on and off to heat back up, you know, when it would cool down or whatever. And I'm also kind of sharing this with you guys so you guys will know what these products are pulling and how much power they're using. So it'll help you guys decide whether if you want need this much power in your system or maybe you might want more. Who knows? One of the big things we want to know if we're off grid and we have solar during the day, are we going to be able to run our two ACs through the night? And of course, that's going to change depending on the time of year. Like right now, it is spring in central Florida, so it's not too hot at the moment. It's probably Nick, maybe 76 or so. We have the AC set for 72 in here. So they've been kicking off on and off all day. And I'll let you know how long it's been and how much power we got in just a minute. So we are just trying to figure out if we can get through the night without any issues. So you got to be able to run 15, 16 hours without any solar. And we don't want to be able to run that. We don't want to run the generator at night. We don't want to disturb our neighbors. We don't want to disturb ourselves. We want, we like the peace of quiet. We will get a small generator just in case, you know, there's cloudy days or our solar's not pulling in enough to recharge the batteries for nighttime. But that's going to be, that'll be a whole different video. So right now we're just trying to figure out what's going on. So today I was going to go run some errands because it's going to be a long day and we're going to have to figure some stuff out. As you can see right behind me, we're kind of backed up to like a wooded area. There's a road uh, that goes behind us. And when it rains, it gets kind of sloppy back there. And I saw a truck drive by and I'm like, oh my God, they're probably just got stuck because it's pretty sloppy back there. I have four wheel drive with a rear locking differential and it, it gets a little sloppy for me. So I start parking back up front when it gets real wet back there. So sure enough, I walk out there and this is what I see. Two ladies are, are stuck in the mud. So I offer to, you know, pull them out. I don't have a recovery strap. I actually just ordered one on Amazon, but I did have some rope, which I wound up doubling up. And did a bumper pull. That's how that went. Okay, we're <laughs> having to pull out a truck. I don't have very strong rope, so. So we got the ladies out. We saved the day. And then it's time to run some errands. I had to go take out the trash and filled up our, our jugs at the grocery store. And Kim wanted me to pick up some watermelon too. So uh, I grabbed that while I was out. And then, you know, of course my truck's a little muddy. So I had to go take that to get that cleaned up. Uh, you know, we have a storage facility for our boat nearby. So I just went over there and just hosed off the mud. And then we came back and I did some editing. And now it is 1130, eight hours and 20 minutes. Does anybody want to guess how much power we've used? Well, let's go, let's go check it out. Let's take a look. 
like I said, sometimes both ACs have been kicking on. They, you know, they're both on because we can run both. We have soft starts in each one, and we have the two inverters. But here we go. We are at sixty-five percent. A little over eight hours. So I have three 24 volt, 200 amp hour batteries. So it's basically used up a little over one of the batteries already. And so I have two left. So if you're thinking about using, getting like uh, 400 amp hours, a 12 volt battery, you at this point, you would be dead now. Your battery would have ran out about 45 minutes ago or half hour ago. That's something you, that's why I'm making these videos to help you guys know how much you power you may want to have in your off-grid system if how much stuff do you want to run like it's really you know not that bad outside but it's a little warmer than we like we like to run their ac we like the same temperature in here all the time especially here in florida it'll be cold in the morning sometimes and then hot as sin in the afternoon and you have a, like two or three hours in the middle of the day where it's really nice and that's just the way it is. So we like to keep a constant temperature in here. We don't want to be roller coastering with it. So under these conditions, we would basically run through two of our batteries in about 16 hours. So that would be enough to get us through the night. And we still have basically this amount. We'd have about 5,000 watt hours left in the morning if under these conditions. But then again, at night, we're, nothing's on. The TV's not on. Uh, the refrigerator's not opening and closing. So that doesn't run very much. Uh, you know, there's no hair dryers or toasters or microwaves or I got the ice machine running right now and we've been uh, filling up the ice. That thing's fantastic. That uses a couple hundred watts. So hopefully this is helping you guys out and we're going to check back in in a few hours and see where we stand. And hopefully, well, this information will be useful to you guys because that's being very useful for me because I've been debating whether to get another battery or not. All right. So we'll check it back in with you in a few hours and see how we're doing. All right, guys, it's 437, so it's been 13 hours and 27 minutes. Anybody want to guess uh, where we're at on battery? We are down to 24%. And I looked at the Victron VRM portal, uh, which, you know, I can see all my consumption and everything, and we've used 12 kilowatt hours today for those 13 hours and 27 minutes. If you're thinking about just getting a couple hundred amp hours and you're thinking you're going to be able to run an AC all night, probably not going to happen. Hope this was helpful. Hope you got something out of it. So the more you know, the hopefully the better it helps you out. So thanks for coming along. Hit that subscribe button if you're getting something out of this. Give this video a big thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it because we appreciate you guys. And we'll see you guys next week.